Hey, how you doing? Well, thank you for joining us today here. My name is Magic Lanny. My name is Lanny and I do magic, so everyone calls me Magic Lanny. We're going to do some magic tricks for everybody today that's joining us online. And I thought today that we would, uh, we would use some very special magic words. I love doing magic for libraries, but today we're going to use the magic words, reading is magic. Some people use abracadabra, hocus pocus, presto chejo. But today we're going to use the, the magic words, reading is magic. Now, why do I think reading is magic? Well, that's how I got started in magic. I do magic for a living. I go all over the country and all over places all over the world. I've been as far away as Bangkok, Thailand to do a magic show. But I didn't start off knowing all this magic. When I started off, I was nine years old, and my, my father brought, bought me a magic kit. And he bought it from the store, and he said, uh, if I learned all of the magic tricks inside the kit, that he would take me somewhere where I could learn more magic. So it took me several weeks to learn all the magic tricks, to follow the instructions, and uh, I learned all the magic tricks, and I showed them to my father. And then he said, great, now we can go get some more magic. I thought that meant we were going to go to the store and buy another magic kit. But guess where we went? to the public library that's right and we went to the public library and he took me to a section over by the games where they have books on games but the, the near that section they had a book on, books on magic there was a whole shelf full of magic books and he showed me that i could check out any one of those books and learn dozens of magic tricks in each one of the books so i started reading the magic books coming back every week checking out new magic books and by the time I was 12, I was doing uh, magic shows for a living. I started doing professional shows when I was 12 years old. Now, if you're interested in learning how to do magic, you can go to the library, either your school library or your public library, and check out a book on magic. But you don't have to be interested in magic for that to be magic for you. If you want to learn uh, what it's like to go to another planet, maybe if you wanted to know what it's like on Mars or on the moon, or you want to know what it's like to be a fireman or a doctor or a lawyer, you can find all of that information in books. And books transport you to a different world, and therefore, I believe reading is magic. So you guys are all part of the reading programs, I know. So you're go you are going to read a bunch of books, but remember, you can learn about magic as well. Now... Today we're going to start off with the magic ABC blocks. Ooh, ABC blocks. All right. Now, have you seen the, the old, in the carnival or, or the circus or maybe on TV where they shoot somebody out of a giant cannon and they go through and they land in the net on the other side? Have you seen that? That's what we're going to do today with my ABC blocks. But, oh, wait a minute. We're going we're gonna to take them off here. To show you that they're all solid. All right. Now we're going to put them back. We have to make sure they're in the same order. What goes on first? Ah, that's right. C goes on first because C's on the bottom. Then what? B. That's right. We have to do B in the middle. Then what? A. Now we had to do them backwards. Now raise your hands if you can say the ABCs backwards. Can you say them backwards? I can say all 26 letters of the alphabet backwards in less than 10 seconds. If you have a watch with a second hand, you may want to time it. This is pretty impressive. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? A, B, C, D, F, G, G, N, M, P, Q, S, T, W, X, Y, Z. Ha! I did it. I did it. I did it. I, I did them backwards. I was backwards the whole time. Oh, you thought I meant starting with Z and ending with A, that kind of backwards? That's impossible to do in under 10 seconds. That would sound like... Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. That's impossible. Oh, wait a minute, I could do it. Did you know you could do them backwards? If you can learn them forwards, you can learn them backwards. And if you try really hard, you can even learn them in alphabetical order. Never mind. All right, here we go. We got the A B C blocks. Now here we go. Oh, the other thing is we need a target. Now we don't have a big net to shoot somebody in, but we're going to use the hat. Now. If you saw my other show, you may know what this, what kind of hat is this. It's a top hat, but it's a special type of top hat. Now, I'm wearing a top hat today with my goggles for safety purposes. If we do anything dangerous, I always have eye protection with me. But this is a special kind of top hat. It's called an opera hat. 
Opera hats were meant so that when the people would dress up in their fancy hats and their fancy outfits a long time ago, they would go to the theater. And when they went to the theater and they were wearing their big hat, what happens to the people behind you? You can't see, right? So we had to have a place to put your hat. So they made these special hats for going to the theater, going to the opera. They have springs inside. And if you take it like this, you can push it and it goes flat, just like that. And now you can put it under your arm or put it under the seat. And in uh, the old theaters, they have a pocket underneath the seat where you can put your hat. Excuse me. <coughs> now, the hat, uh, you don't want to wear a flat hat, right? That's no good. So they had, that's why the springs are inside. So when you come out, you just tap it, and it comes back to your very own hat again. So now you can put it on and leave the theater. So this is an opera hat. Today we're going to use that as our target. Now, we're going to cover up the... Uh, now, I'm going to make the uh, block fly from here over to there on the count of three, okay? All right, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, no, look over there. What's that? Over. Oh, I forgot. You guys are watching me on your TV screens, and I can't tell you to look over there, and you're just going to look over there. That's what magicians call misdirection. Sometimes they make you look over here when you should be looking over there, and they make you look at the wrong thing. Well... I tell you what, we can't use that. So we won't use the misdirection. Let's use the magic words. What are they? Reading is magic. Okay, we're going to try it again. This time we're going to use the magic words. Okay, so I'm going to count to three, and everybody's going to say the magic words. Reading is magic. Okay, we're going to cover up the A, the B, the C. Now remember those magic words. One, two, three. Reading is magic. And of course we need the magic wand. We'll wave the magic wand, tap it, and watch. It flies through the air and lands in the net. All right. Ooh, let's see what we have. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, what's missing? The bee is gone. Where'd it go? I don't know. Do you think it's in here? Nope, it's not in there. Let's see. Do you think it made it to the hat? Let's check out the hat inside the hat. Ooh, there it is. The bee is all the way over here. And that's amazing, just like in the circus. He's an acrobat, but he's a bee. He's an acro bee. All right, we're going to put that one away. And now uh, we're going to do the magic rope trick. In every magic show, we have to do the mandatory rope trick. It's kind of compulsory. Here we go. This is the first uh, trick I ever learned when I was eight years old. My grandfather showed me this trick. He was kind of famous for it. He would take... Uh, well, you had to take a, an ordinary rope. This is ordinary rope. It says right there, made by the Ordinary Rope Company. <laughs> it's really small. You can't see that. It's got two ends, one on each, and a middle somewhere near the center. The only reason the rope looks so long is because the ends appear so far apart. Am I going too fast? Let me know. Okay, first rope trick I ever saw when I was eight years old. My grandfather showed me this. He was kind of famous for it. He would put one hand behind his back. He would shake the rope, and a knot would appear just about there. It was the world's fastest magic knot. He'd put one hand behind his back. He would shake the rope, and a knot would appear just about there. I never could do that. <laughs> but I was eight years old and wanted to impress my grandfather, so I learned to do this. Mom says I'm special. <laughs> when I was nine, I learned to do this at the same time. Woo, twice as special now, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Not as special as when my grandfather would put one hand behind his back. He would shake the rope and a knot would appear. You know, when I was 10 years old, I read the Cub Scout Book of Magic. Cub Scouts put their hand near the center of the rope, shake both ends, you get a knot where your hand used to be. Ooh, not as impressive as the American version made famous by my grandfather. He would put one hand behind his... You know, two weeks ago I learned one called the Robin Hood knot. Robin Hood does it this way. Ho oh, there! Pretty cool. You guys aren't falling for any of this, are you? All right, for those of you that never saw my grandfather do the world's fastest magic knot, I will recreate it for you. My grandfather taught me a lot of things, but the last thing he ever taught me was the secret to the world's fastest magic knot. Now, I'm going to do that again for those of you at home that forgot to applaud the first time you saw the world's fastest magic knot. All right, thank you. All right. We'll put that one away. And now, 
All right, we have a handkerchief trick. We have three colors. What color is that? Red, what color is that? What color is that? Red, white, and blue are the colors of the American flag. The American flag. Now, that's right. Now, we're going we're gonna to mix them up a little bit. We're going to do this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now what color is that? Red, what color is that? Blue. What color is that? How did you get them even though I mixed them up? Okay, you must be really good, really good at colors. All right, we're going to make, uh, what will you say? What's the red, white, and blue the colors of? Uh, that's right, the American flag and the Texas flag and the, the French flag and the British flag and the Australian flag and the, the new Russian flag. Lots of flags are red, white, and blue. But we're going to make an American flag with, uh, with the help of some magic. We're going to need those magic words. Reading is magic. Now we're also going to need a magic bag. All right, here we go. Now what's inside the bag? Nothing in there. 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 It's not funny. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna take the handkerchiefs. We're gonna count to three. One, two, three, ready? Reading is magic. All right, now I'm gonna wave my hand over the... Oh, sorry, we forgot the blue. We can't make a, a flag without blue, can we? All right, wave the hand. And now, here we have the American... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got it. Reading is magic, the American... Okay, so the, wait, there's a flag in here. I have a flag. All right, all right. Three cheers for the red, white, and... The blue did not stick. We put it in too late. Maybe we can glue it on. No, what's missing? Oh, we're missing the stars. That's right, we need stars. All right, we're going for the stars. Ready? One, two, three. Reading is magic. I go wait. Oh, I know what happened. See, it's not sticking because we need a magic wand. That's what it is. Okay, I need a magic wand. And so as well as the magic words, and we're gonna use the magic wand. Where'd the magic wand go? All right, we'll find it. I got it. Aha! The magic wand. All right, here we go. I'm sorry. Let's check out and see. Uh, we need a big magic wand for a big trick. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Reading is magic. All right, we'll wave that around. And now, let's see. Whoa, whoa. I see stars. Look at that. Stars and stripes. All right, everything hit. Oh, no. Is that right? No, we have stars where the stripes should be. And stripes where the star should be. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. I think we may we need another magic wand. I think I have another one in here. I think. We, oh, I know. We'll use the magic fan. Aha! The magic fan. That'll work. Oh yeah, that feels good right there. Ah, what? I heard that. I am not bald. No, I am not bald. I happen to be follically challenged. That is correct. All right. Now we're going to take the fan. Wave it over here three times, okay? And then we'll say the magic words, reading it. Oh no, what happened to my fan? But that's the only fan in my fan club. Look what happened. Maybe we can use those magic words. Ready, one, two, three. Reading is magic. We'll take a deep breath. Ah, oh, look, we fixed it. Okay, now we're gonna wave it over here three times. Okay, now you just open it up like that and then we're gonna wave it over here. Oh, we forgot the magic words. Ready? One, two, three. Reading is magic. We wave it over. Let's see what happened. We'll put that away inside the thing. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Wait, I know. I was using the magic wand all wrong. Okay. I wasn't supposed to hold it on this side. I was supposed to hold it on the other side. See, you hold it on one end and you wave it. You can hold it on the other end. doesn't matter which end you hold, but for this magic trick, you wave it. The bag disappeared. Oh, I thought the bag disappeared. I'm sorry about that. We'll wave it over here. Ready? Reading is magic. All right, let's see what we got. Into, I see stars. I see stripes. Look at that. Stars and stripes. Everything in the right order. All right, thank you very much. Give yourselves a round of applause for being such a great audience there at home and helping me out when things weren't going right. Now, we got one more thing I want to show you here. All right. Normally, 
I wait till the end of the show. And then the announcer comes on and says, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Magic Lanny. And I go running off the stage and the people in the audience are jumping to their feet and they're saying, Magic Lanny, Magic Lanny. And I come running out and I do this trick as an encore. <laughs> Today we're going to do it now. All right, here we go. All right. Now, it's a little game with a bottle of root beer and a glass. The object of this is to make the glass and the root beer change places while contained within these tubes. This is the trick that made Helen Reddy, Robert Young, and Budweiser. Ask your parents. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to do this trick with uh, some magic words. Reading is magic. The first part, we have to make sure that the glass is the same distance from the bottle that the bottle is from the glass. Perfect. All right, and now the illusion begins. See, we cover up the glass with one tube. We cover up the root beer with it. Whoa! Okay, you saw that, huh? I got, I got too many bottles. It's okay, it'll work. Okay, it'll work. All right, I snap my fingers. I say the magic words. Reading is magic. And now, yep, the bottle's over here, and the glass is over there. The hard part is to make them go back again. All right, reading is magic. And now look, the glass is back over there and the bottle is back over there. Isn't magic wonderful? <laughs> I know what you're saying. You say, wait a minute, we paid to see this. No, none of you paid to see this because this is free from your public library. Once again, everybody give, yourself, give our public library a round of applause for providing these free videos, yay! And we're going to do this trick. Here we go. Cover up the bottle. Cover up the glass. I snap my fingers. Reading is magic. And now the glass becomes a bottle and the bottle becomes a glass. And back again. Ooh, pretty cool, huh? Now it's important to remember that the tube on my left always goes over the bottle. And the tube, oh man. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I got too many bottles. But the tube on my right goes over the glass. See? And then you snap your fingers and the glass becomes a bottle and the bottle becomes glass. Now the tube on my right always goes over on this side of the tube. Oh man. Party. All right, we're gonna have a root beer float later on. All right, cover up the glass, snap my fingers, glass becomes a bottle and the bottle becomes glass. Now some of you are saying, huh? No, some people say, I know it's using those two tubes. There's something sneaky about those two tubes. So we're gonna try it with just one tube. It works the same way, but a little bit slower. See, so you snap your fingers, reading is magic, and the glass becomes a bottle, and then the bottle becomes a glass. But in order to do it that way, you need another bottle. But it does work. Watch. The glass becomes a bottle, and the bottle becomes a glass. I'm going to keep doing this until everyone likes it. Can I hear you at home? All right. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, I need another bottle. All right, some people say, I know when that magician makes a glass become a bottle and the bottle becomes a glass, he's using two glasses. I never use two glasses. I might use an extra bottle <laughs> or two. And because you've been a great audience with me this afternoon, I happen to bring with me two more bottles. All right. Now, thank you very much for coming out joining us on the library program. And uh, we'd like to keep everybody reading at home, read the books. Remember what I said, reading is magic. You can learn just about anything from reading books. So everybody stay with your reading program and we'll see you again. All right, thank you very much. Bye-bye.